Welcome back viewers to our YouTube channel and today on the Montessori Dictionary we're going to be talking about a mathematics material, this one which is called the spindle box. Now I've chosen this material because it's very interesting, children love to use it and you know what? This is very easy for you to make at home. I'm going to show you how so you don't actually have to go out and buy the material. Are you ready to learn? Let's get going. So the spindle box is a material that's used to teach the children about numbers, written symbols and corresponding quantities. This is also the first time that we're going to be teaching children about the number zero. So before this we would have taught them the numbers 1 to 10, we would have taught them quantities 1 to 10 and now this is where we put it together. This is one of the activities where we combine and put it together. The beauty of Montessori math is that we always teach concrete first, that means counting actual objects and then we teach the abstract. Abstract means the written symbol, the numbers and then we combine it together. So in this activity we would be combining quantity and symbol. Nita, today we're going to learn how to use the spindle box. Now Nita, this number is zero. Can you say zero? Zero. Zero means nothing. Would you like to feel that? What does zero mean? Nothing. Okay, now can you tell me what number this is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now Nita, we have these spindles here and we want to put the correct number of spindles into each box and you're going to help me by counting. Now, do you remember what number this is? Zero. And what does zero mean? Nothing. So how many spindles do we put there? Nothing. Okay. What number is this? One. Can you count with me? One. How many spindles shall we put here, Nita? Two. Let's count together. One, two. Do you know what number this is? Three. Shall we count? One, two, three. Now, tell me what number this is. Four. Let's count. One, two, three, four. What number is this, Nita? Nine. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Nita, all our spindles are finished, right? Mm. And we filled up all these boxes. Now, what I'd like you to do is remove the spindles, put them back in the basket, and I would like you to try this on your own. Could you help me to put the spindles back? Wasn't that an interesting activity? Now let me tell you about the secrets and the beautiful, beautiful benefits behind this material. Now you might have noticed that when we were putting the spindles into each of the boxes, I did not use my right hand to put them into the boxes one by one. I counted into my hand one and then placed it into the box. One, two, and with my left hand put it into the box. Now the reason behind this is we want the children to get a muscular impression of quantity. So when she counts one, it feels like this. But when she gets to the bigger numbers and she has maybe eight or nine in her hand, it feels like this. Her hand is struggling to hold it. So she's understanding with her body that as the numbers go higher, so the quantity also becomes bigger. Isn't that interesting? Every Montessori material has a control of error so that the child can correct themselves. We have talked about the control of error in a previous video which I'm going to link in the description and I'll sh also share a link right here so you can click and watch it to learn more about that. Now we want the child to know what their mistake is. The control of error here is that there are 45 spindles. This means that when the child gets to number 9 and she doesn't have enough spindles for the last box, that means she's made a mistake somewhere and there's an extra spindle in one of these boxes. So she can go back and correct herself. Or 
if she reaches number nine and she has too many spindles then again she knows there's a mistake somewhere and she goes back and checks her work and this means she doesn't need an adult to fix her mistakes or correct her or constantly be interfering with her independence she can check her work by herself other benefits of this material of course are the motor skills gross motor skills when the child carries this material to and from the sh uh, to and from the shelf fine motor skills as we pick up the spindles and put them in our hands so they're developing their motor skills eye hand coordination which will help them when they're writing because they have to coordinate their eyes and their hands as they put the spindles into the boxes so how can you make this material at home easy as pie first of all you don't have to have these wooden boxes you can buy slim plastic boxes or even make cardboard boxes and stick them together like this and write your numbers instead of these spindles you could use pencils you could use straws you could use chopsticks if you don't want to have it lying down you can get empty toilet tissue rolls and stick them together again zero to nine and then you can have the same thing straws or chopsticks or pencils or anything slim that you would like to put inside the boxes I have seen some people do a variation where they have a form of a makeup roll-up case you know uh, women out there who are into makeup you have the cases for your brushes so what they do is they make a case like that out of felt or out of cloth and they number them zero to nine and then they slip in the straws or the chopsticks into each of the the pouches so that's an interesting way to do it and a good way to store your material as well because it rolls up and it ties and it combines some uh, practical life activities of ribbon activities in there too I really hope you've enjoyed learning about this material and I hope that you try it out as well if there's any material you'd like to learn about any Montessori concept you'd like to know more about leave me some comments below and I'm happy to come back and share with you so we all learn and grow. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.